viewers, this is Hepsi here. Today, we are going to see a very useful video which is nothing but a student special video. These days, our students are getting ready for their board examinations or annual examinations. Few of the students are even getting ready for many competitive examinations. So, this video is about how to effectively prepare for our examinations. In this video, I am going to discuss a very simple and easy formula called the ABCD formula which helps us to prepare for our exams in an effective manner. Do not skip the video, watch the video till the end so that your exam preparation becomes more effective. A for avoid fear and negativity. Whenever we hear the word exam, we obviously get a sort of fear within ourselves. How am I going to face my examinations this year? I haven't put much effort these days. I haven't scored good marks in the previous examinations. When such questions come in our mind, we automatically get a sense of fear. Apart from this, the negative thoughts and thoughts of people around us like how are you going to achieve good results in your exams you are useless you can never achieve anything in life such negative thoughts also increase our fear more and more but when we give way for such fear and negativity to increase within ourselves we can never concentrate in our studies so how to get rid of this fear and negativity before believe in yourself this is a very good remedy to get rid of our fear and negativity. Whenever we get such feeling of fear or negative thoughts running in our mind, it is a very good practice to tell positive things to ourselves. Like, I can do this. This is possible for me. I have all the potential to become a successful person in this particular thing. Such positive vibes, when they keep on increasing within ourselves, will automatically pull out the negativity that is within us and the fear within us. C for concentrate in your studies and care for yourself. From the beginning, I've told you that we have to avoid our fear and negativity. Then we have to believe in ourselves. That is nothing but increasing our self-confidence. Once we are done with all that, we have to concentrate in our studies. So how to concentrate in our studies? We have to give more time for our studies than the other entertainment. We have to make the best use of the time that we have for preparing for our examinations. We can even draft a wonderful timetable for ourselves and we can follow that particular timetable. Like, I will be giving two hours for this particular subject. I will be allotting three hours for this particular subject, etc. Apart from this, we have to select the timing which is convenient for us to study. Few people are convenient studying late at night, but few others are very much convenient to study in the early morning hours. So we have to find out which time is convenient for us and make the best use of that particular time. Next is taking care of ourselves. This is a very very important thing that students fail to do. When students keep on studying, 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 they forget to take care of themselves. As a result, they face lots of consequences at the time of examination. So we can start the day by doing some exercises like the breathing exercises, warm-up exercises. We can go for a walk, jogging, etc. in order to keep ourselves healthy and fresh every day. Apart from this, we can even spend some time in meditation or prayer. This gives us a peace of mind and helps us to learn and memorize things in a better and an easy way. And finally, healthy diet which is very 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 essential for a well-being. We, we shouldn't think that we can take this into consideration at the time of the examination. Health is wealth, says a proverb, which is obviously true. So we have to give much importance to our health from this time of exam preparation. So let us make it a point to consume fresh fruits and vegetables, greens and nuts etc. in order to keep ourselves healthy. Try to avoid junk food and concentrate that your diet chart contains all such nutrients that are essential for a well-being. And finally, D for do your best. In the past days, we have put lots of effort in preparing for our examinations. 
so we have to reflect those or present those in the examination hall. There is no use if we are not able to present the things that we have learned in the past days in the exam hall. So whenever we enter the exam hall, our mindset should be such that I have to give my 100% best in this particular examination. So make the best use of the time that is given for the exam and try to put in all that you have learned, all that you have practiced in the past days of your exam preparation. Finally students, I think I could do a short recap of this ABCD formula. A for avoid fear and negativity. B for believe in yourself. C for concentrate in your studies and care for yourself. D for do your best. So when you follow this A plus B plus C plus D formula, I'm sure you will come out with flying colors with all the success. I hope this video was very useful to you. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Also share our video links with your fellow friends so that this particular information is useful to many. So all the best for your exam preparation students. Make the best use of the time that you have because time is precious. In the next video, I will be discussing on how to make your paper presentations in an efficient manner so that you could score very good marks. This is Hepsi signing off. Have a nice day. Bye.